Yeah, when, okay. or Lori, do you want to play? Oh, okay. okay, you guys, you got the controller, Lori. You're playing. So, what, so Maya, why don't you kind of go through and, and kind of walk? Uh, I'll let you walk Laura and uh, Jeff through what's going on here. So. Okay. So oh, the tutorial. Beat a duck. Yeah. There we go. And um, your partner can tap in at any time by pressing any button. So you'll see that Laura there just popped in as Mugman there. It is a functional tutorial. Um, this is this is new. We found that when we just had the words, people weren't really paying attention to it, so it really forces you to perform um, various different functions. Um, so your right bumper that you're seeing there locks you in place, and so you can aim in eight different directions to shoot. Uh, it is rapid fire, so you can just hold X down. You don't have to keep tapping. Um, right here, the, anything that's pink in the game is parryable. It's a really important mechanic um, for a number of different reasons. One of them, it you'll see here, it elevates your jump so you can get up to higher platforms that you wouldn't normally be able to reach. It helps build up your super bar. So in the HUD down there, you'll see that, excellent, Jeff just uh, executed his super, and you'll see that the cards uh, slowly would have come up as he was pairing, and they rotate when your super is full. Or you can use a card earlier than that to perform an EX move um, that you're seeing there. Let me just tell you, you want to use the D pad bad in this game. It's just like, so yeah, it, it feels like I'm playing sure. like old school Contra in terms of uh, how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Even I have a spread gun. Yeah, so at any given time you can equip yourself with two different weapons. You switch them out by tapping your left bumper. Um, in this demo there are only three weapons in the shop that you can purchase. Not through in-game purchases, you collect coins at the various platforming stages. Alright, where, um, where do we go? I want to kill that But onion. in the final game there will be many weapons, supers, and charms. Where you guys Ooh, the shop. Where, where are you guys going? So, okay, well, first of all, right now we're seeing um, the first overworld. So, Inkwell Isle 1. Um, just touching quickly on the art, the, everything I said uh, earlier is watercolor paintings, um, except you'll be able to denote where a level or a boss is by, you see right there, the root pack, exactly. So, that's actually, um, it's a te technique called the boil. So, it's one picture, and then I would draw over it three separate times. And because of human error, you're never going to hit the exact same line every time you draw. So it creates that shaky effect. Um, it's kind of so like in like cart old cartoons when you watch it, you knew that exactly. thing was going to move because exactly. it looked a little different. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, we can jump right into the root pack if you guys want to. Is that where the, the onion is? The yeah. murderous Let's onion. So right here, you're seeing. Um, I mean, look at that. That looks gorgeous. Do have gorgeous. two different two different difficulty selections. I'm going to so regret simple that. Simple and yeah. It's probably gone in a simple. <laughs> no, you guys are good. You're good. Oh no, oh, the potato! Oh, so, yeah, we're seeing a potato. I know it's hard to see. <laughs> so, let me be clear this is the very first time Jeff and Laura have played this game. So ah, especially you, together. And Laura was very concerned that she wasn't going to be good at oh, it. You, well, you're ah, oh, yeah, you're back. So, that's one of the functionalities. Uh, so, our gameplay was inspired by games from the late 80s, early 90s. So, Gunstar Heroes, Contra, Mega Man. Um, and <laughs> but we've incorporated some modern nods to make it a little bit more Help fair me. than games of that era. In that you could have revived. You missed me. <laughs> oh, sit down, potato. I don't. Nice I don't watch potato. It's your uh, oh, oh, kill it! I'm kill it with fire! <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, uh, see that? How does it feel to cry, onion? <laughs> That's what we've been doing for a long time. Special attack. There you go. You're super nice. Thank you. So the, it's good that Jeff switched out to a spread uh, shot here. Uh, That's okay. You, can okay. we bring a couple of people up? Not the first time. Yeah. yeah someone who, who also hates onions. Does Jeff, why don't, hate go, onions? why don't you go pick a couple people out of the audience? Who hates onions right there? Oh, see? You, re you, I can see it in your eyes. You really hate <laughs> onions with the hat. Come on up. Come, come on, on up. up. Do you want to put them down in front here? Yeah. Okay. We'll get you guys down in front. And, and my, my, I don't know if you want to stay up here or go down in front with them. Whatever you want, then feel free to do yeah, that. Yeah, sure. You guys. So, so again, Cuphead is now Cuphead's a Play Anywhere title, right? It is. So let's. Uh, that means you're going to be able to buy it on your Xbox, and you'll be able to play it on uh, your Windows 10. And there'll be will there be crossplay as well, Maya? Cross crossplay as well. It's cross save, cross play. There you go. All right, you guys, ready to go? Check this out. Oh no! I didn't realize this was the onion level, Jeff. Oh yeah. Is that, I, mean, I think there's a carrot on this level too that has like. Mike, do you remember? Do you remember growing up with these cartoons, Mike? He's got skills. I'm watching him. Yeah, I know he does. <laughs> I love these cartoons. I'm a huge uh, Silly Symphonies, Warner Brothers uh, okay. fan. So those are that's what I grew up with. So when I see this, I just I'm, my eyes are just I, I I can't believe this. Yeah, the animation here just blows my mind. It really does. Oh. Uh, uh, 
I should have oh. put it on. Oh, no. Simple. Want to try again? Yeah. Why did you choose regular? Pardon because me? I wanted to show off. <laughs> yeah, was, so my, my says, actually, put the microphone so Mike can show us what we're going to play there. So we're going to play, we're going to spin it around here, so. Yeah, so we're going to um, just traverse the world here to go up to the first platforming stage. So it's denoted here by that little target symbol. So again, it's a uh, rapid fire. So Now, the important thing to remember, this is a run-and-gun game, okay? So you're never going to clear the screen of enemies. They keep coming. They are infinite. So just run for your life. Clear your path. <laughs> so here are the coins that I was telling you guys about earlier that you would collect in order to um, purchase additional supers, weapons, and charms in the shop. So what are those cards that start coming up at, next to your hit points? They start, like, dealing in. Yeah. So that, um, that denotes your super bar. So when it's full, you'll have five and they'll be spinning. And if you use them before, you get the five spinning ones. So I'm just going to parry that. That helps build up your super bar a little bit easier or faster. Um, also, sometimes you cannot uh, kill any, something that's pink. You have to parry it in order to nullify it and, and cross over. These little mushrooms look cute, but they are not. So what things can you parry, uh, like, so you know before you jump headlong into a, an enemy? And again, let's talk, let's go back to what Maya was saying about animating this every single frame. Every single frame. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you can see um, a lot of the effects that I keep up beat up for you. Oh, no, here we go. I'm going to save mm -hmm. him here by parrying him, unless I die first. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Got pretty close right. to the end there. I want to finish a level. Can we finish a level? Yeah, we I'm can. I'm sure he can. Sure. I just don't know if you can, Maya. Pardon my... <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing great. I'm an artist, not a developer on this. No. <laughs> now, to each one of these, Maya, to each one of these characters you're coming across, obviously they have names. Have you named them all? Uh, the enemies, you yeah. mean? Um, they do, but don't put me on the spot. Too. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're, you're pretty... already on the spot in playing. I think it's too late. We're there. <laughs> Only put me on one spot at a time. Nothing formal. That, I mean, they're the names that we named them as we were saving. Yeah, the as files, you were producing them. But nothing that you would that you'd see in game, rather. So, so Maya, can you share how many frames of total animation? Sure. So a funny story about that actually. So when we embarked on this, we initially forecasted that it would be around. Here we go. Uh, Fourteen to fifteen thousand frames of animation. And right now, including the inks, we're around 120,000 frames. 120,000 frames of animation. Yeah. Wow. It's a lot. Um, again, that's because we, you can, when you animate things, you can get away on animating on the twos. So that's 12 frames per second. <laughs> and um, we're going to give it one more. Can you show us the store? Because it was interesting. I yeah. didn't realize this was a game that you could actually, like, there's more to it than just the run and gun. And that, you know, there's yeah, a lot sure. of options and stuff. So as I mentioned earlier, um, in this demo, there are only three weapons that you can, you can purchase. Uh, we needed to keep some things a secret. So we're just going to go into shop here. And every world you go into, you'll be able to find a shop. You don't have to keep coming back to world one. So look at this little cutie pie. <laughs> um, you can, well, we won't we'll be able to purchase anything now because we don't have, we didn't uh, finish the level and keep our coins. But what, you, what is highlighted here is uh, one of the charms, which is a smoke dash. It's my personal favorite. It helps get you out of, um, there you go, and that's the homing weapon. A smoke dash, when you dash, it makes you invincible. The homing weapon is one of the weakest weapons, but it's really good for when you have homing enemies or if you're new to gaming and your direction and your aim is a little bit off. And then you also have your um, coffee charm. So it's like a, uh, it helps build up your super meter a little bit faster. In and the demo, oh, oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. In the demo as well, we have pre equipped you with a fourth health point. In the game, you'll have three, and then you have to purchase the fourth one. Is that something you keep throughout this world, or is it like you use yeah. it? And no, you, once you buy it, they're yours. And um, before you enter into any stage or level, you can change what you, which charm or which super you're going to use. Sweet. All right, let's, let's show some of the level. Okay, let's go back. If you, if you would, please. And then we'll do some... We'll do I'm really little... not this bad. I'm going to point that yeah. out. I just can't it's, talk it's super and play laggy. at the same time. Yeah. Sure. 
That's because you can't believe it plays this fast because you've been animating it one frame, right? Exactly. My brain like, is I'm not really used to it this right fast. Um, so, so where are we going? Oh, you want to try this one again? Oh, he's driving. It's okay. All right, we want to finish this level, right, gang? We're going to finish it this way. Because we got pretty close to the end. Jeff's going to have nightmares about Onion Man. It lives to fight another day. <laughs> September 29th, the onions are gone forever. What day was that again, Jeff? September 29th. <laughs> and you can pre order it now on Xbox One. Yes. Yeah, like I say, if you want to check it out, uh, Maya, when they go to the booth, what are you showing at the booth for levels? Um, so we've unlocked both World 1 and 2. We have kept a couple of different levels, or uh, for example, the Mausoleum, which has some mini games as well. We kept those under wraps just so that you still have an element of surprise on the 29th, but most of World 1 and 2 are open. Right. I would encourage you to just start at the first um, level or uh, boss just to help prime you a little bit and get used to the mechanics and gameplay before you can continue onwards. Oh, right. my, oh no. I'm so oh, there we I'm go. switch my weapon out here. I prefer the spread shot one. It's just a little bit stronger. Did you explain the HUD? I don't know if you explained the HUD. Yeah, so you'll see in the HUD, um, there, your health points are indicated with a number there. And then your super bar is indicated by the cards right. that are being shown. When it's full, they'll be rotating. Um, that looks familiar. Yes, we paid homage to some of our favorites. <laughs> Feels like you're getting close to the end here. I love the music. Tell us a little bit about the music. Oh, oh, oh right there! Oh. Is this live? Can we edit this? Yes. This is, no, this is this this is live. Why don't you come back up here? We're gonna we're gonna actually. If you guys want to take some Q and A, we're gonna we're gonna queue up there. We'll we'll get through the Q and A, and we'll uh, we can go back to the video up here. Oh, off the, yep. oh, actually, that's you, Jeffrey. Sorry about that. Yep. Thank you for that. 